Good afternoon and welcome to Boston Asian Radio and TV English Daily News Today. I am your host, Amanda. Here's a look at the top stories making headlines today. Vice President Kamala Harris says it's a joy to be in Boston for NAACP convention. 31-year-old man arrested for murder in Jamaica plane shooting. Two men flee the scene of a fatal crash on I-95 in Topsfield. Malden man charged in road rage incident that sent one-year-old to hospital. Tornado hit Foxborough near Mansfield and Easton on Saturday. Vice President Kamala Harris says it's a joy to be in Boston for NAACP convention. Vice President Kamala Harris arrived in Boston on Saturday to attend the 2023 NAACP National Convention at the Boston Convention Center. The convention kicked off earlier this week with the theme Thriving Together. The vice president was the distinguished guest for a conversation later Saturday, arriving in Boston just before 4 p.m. and then addressing thousands inside the convention center in the seaport. Harris made history as the first black woman vice president to provide a keynote speech at an NAACP convention last year. Her remarks focused on the administration's support for abortion rights and tighter gun restrictions and conveyed a promise to reduce disproportionately high maternal mortality rates for people of color. She now joins a list of presidents and vice presidents from Eisenhower to Carter and Bush to Obama that headlined the convention over the last 113 years. 31-year-old man arrested for murder in Jamaica plane shooting. A man was arrested Sunday in connection to a fatal shooting earlier this month in Boston's Jamaica Plain neighborhood, police announced. Boston police say Dickwin White Cohen, 31 of Dorchester, was taken into custody by members of the department's fugitive unit on Hyde Park Avenue in Jamaica Plain. White Cohen was wanted on a murder warrant out of West Roxbury District Court in the shooting death of 45-year-old Dan Webb. According to police, officers responded to Forest Hill Street shortly after 1.30 a.m. on Tuesday, July 18, for a report of a person shot and found Webb suffering from gunshot wounds. Webb died from his injuries at a local hospital. Police did not say Sunday what led them to White Cohen or if the two were known to each other. White Cohen will be arraigned Monday in West Roxbury District Court. It wasn't immediately clear if he had obtained an attorney. Two men flee the scene of a fatal crash on I-95 in Topsfield. Police are searching for two men who fled the scene of a fatal accident on Interstate 95 in Topsfield Friday afternoon, according to officials. Massachusetts State Police responded to the crash involving three vehicles headed southbound, which left one person dead and another with life-threatening injuries. At around 4.17 p.m., a 2008 GMC Acadia SUV occupied by two Lynn men allegedly suddenly and rapidly decelerated and came to a stop around mile marker 71, state police said in a statement. Guzman was charged with interfering with a police officer and booked at the state police Newbury Barracks, police reported. Guzman posted cash bail and his court appearance is pending. The crash remains under investigation by the state police and the Essex County District Attorney's Office. Malden man charged in road rage incident that sent one-year-old to hospital. A Malden man is facing charges in connection with a road rage incident in the South End that sent a one-year-old child to the hospital. According to police, Clifford Jones, 66, Jones argued with another driver after backing into the driver's car. Jones then allegedly got a baseball bat and smashed the victim's front and rear windshield, causing glass to rain down on the victim's one-year-old daughter, who was in the back seat, cutting her. Jones then left the scene and the victim chased after him until police caught up with the drivers near Massachusetts Avenue and Tremont Street. Jones told police he fled the scene because after the accident, the victim began screaming that his child was in the car and chased him for several blocks. Police found an aluminum bat at the scene. The child was transported to Boston Medical Center for lacerations and glass contamination. Tornado hit Foxborough near Mansfield and Easton on Saturday. The National Weather Service has confirmed that an EF-1 tornado touched down Saturday night in Massachusetts. The tornado hit a small neighborhood in Foxborough near the Mansfield town line, very close to the town of Easton. Its peak wind reached an estimated 105 miles per hour, with a path width of 25 yards and a path length just shy of 300 yards. One team that was surveying in Massachusetts concluded that straight-line winds or a microburst brought wind damage in Brockton, East Bridgewater, and portions of Easton, Mass. According to National Grid, there were approximately 200 Easton residents without power Sunday afternoon 
and crews were continuing to work to restore power to those affected. Anyone who requires a town inspection to restore power can call the Easton Police Department at 508-230-3322 and press zero. Stay tuned for more updates on Boston News as it develops.